quarter right on the way momentarily. Already a couple of kills being forward. As uh, September will find a double opener. Dream or one of the two is over, may I say, even. Numbers level. HP, though, in favor of Kativa on their T side. I mean, this is a much faster and more aggressive pistol uh, than we saw on the previous map. So it's nice to see that we're getting straight into the thick of things. But as you say, very back and forth here, even in our very first round of the half. Now, Kenneth is on very, very low HP. So that does definitely leave things a little bit in the favor of Cat Evil. But look at this bomb slowly sneaking its way over towards B side. This could be a perfect play. Oh, it could work in their favor, and I think what they're going to find is a completely barren site. Jin's all alone here. Going to be able to get that bomb down. And at the very least, no matter how this plays out from here, that's a silver lining. Smoking towards double door as well. Does spot a little bit of information on the cross, but he's going to play in towards the upper tunnels. And I like the way he's going about this. The bomb is planted for him. It gives him all the room to work with. And the clock at close range is a, a foe to be reckoned with. Now, you look over towards the Seatide of Moon. I mean, they've got no utility to work with. They have to just go in peak and dry. And with Kenrith on low HP, this is becoming dicey. Going to find Ooh. the first. Flash going to pop out as well. And Jin, all he's going to do is buy some time to try and find something. What a swing from September. A fourth kill to his name. And it's a quad pistol from him to find the round. The bomb is going to be oh so close in the defuse. But I think he's just about got it and he does first round going the way of the ct oh. side bomb plot comes through but moon find the round i mean that was incredibly close all things considered and i think that cat evil do a really good job of trying to I don't know, get creative with that, I suppose. You know, you got Cat Evil chilling over towards the A site, drawing out, a, oh, sorry, Mutant, drawing out a lot of that attention. Meanwhile, I think it was Gin who was moving over towards B with that bomb, is able to get it down, gets another kill for his troubles as well, and very, very neat scores it out into a round win. But the bomb does get planted, so they've got a little bit of cash to work with here. And so the second round is on slightly more equal footing. And at the end of the day, okay, you didn't win the round, but I'm sure Cat Evil are not too devastated by that. At least they have some firepower in this. I think, realistically speaking, this is actually the important one. Both of these two sides are full bought in. They've both got very similar in terms of the firepower being brought in towards round number two. So kind of winner of this wins a good bulk of the momentum in towards the early part of map number two. So this is the kind of the priority. And that's what that bomb plant does give them and some security. And that becomes towards September as well. It goes back, Platties, be careful. It doesn't matter. Mutant. Oh, too crisply doves out of the way. Twy going to find one of his own as well. That's the round that Cat Evil needed, and that's the start they were looking for. They found their opening double, get the bomb down, that post bomb set to pose so aggressively that the CT side don't even want to contest. I mean, I wouldn't contest this, to be fair. No. <laughs> a solid approach here from Cat Evil, exactly what we wanted to see. And then, you know, this is what I was saying. You know, they come into this round and they're not devastated by the buy that they're able to come out with. It's actually pretty good, all things considered, even though they didn't win out the round. So this is going to be them evening up the scoreline. Uh, which may have been unexpected. I, I definitely think Moon Esports weren't expecting this. And this is also a stark no. difference to what we saw on the first map because Moon Esports won the first pistol. But I think the important thing to note was they had denied the plant from coming through. So they were able to actually pivot off of that and get a runaway five-point lead before Cat Evil were able to bring themselves back into it. This time around, they're not able to uh, deny that bomb from getting planted, which means the Cat Evil come into this with a good buy and they're able to flip things back in their favor very, very quickly. And the really devastating part for Moon Esports is that off the back of not winning that round, yes, they did hold on to three of their guns, but for the rest, for the last two players, it's not ideal. It's one deagle, and then, you know, not much else. A little bit of util to use at least, so that might help them kind of stall out a little bit here, but Cat Evil pretty much sitting uh, on top of this round. And of course, you know, it's one of those things on the other side, it's a similar situation once again for Moon, where Full investment, failure to convert, leaves them with nothing. Tons for five, but so are both. Somehow, though, some way, Jin stays alive. And I don't know how he's able to do so, but fortune favors the bold, and he is able to find that opener. And now with the numbers in their favor, they can find their way back again over towards the A side. Molotov in towards short, gives them that control. Bomb two planted, and some of the default plants. And Twy finds yet one more, or more or less confirms the round once again in favor. The question now, can Kate deny any sort of this safe through? And that's what he's going to find. Kenneth trying to keep that MP9 alive, not going to be the case. Potentially, though, Kate's AK-47 is at risk. The Python is coming in to test the waters, but Kate passes with fine colors. Estelle now all alone, one versus five. And it's safe to say, it's only going one way. And Kate even just a little bit of a confidence swing. That is a statement made. It's Cat Evil Dry. Anything being saved across. And more importantly, I've now got a very good control. Not only the lead in their favor, but the momentum and the long term economy too. 
was kind of holding my breath a little bit there as uh, Kate swings out for that last uh, engagement. And I really thought that maybe he was going to wind up dead. He had just a sliver of HP left towards the end there. But he does, as you say, deny even a single weapon from going into the next round. Cat Evil playing with some serious confidence here on Dust 2. And look at that. Starting off this anti-eco with a nice little 3k. Gets traded out eventually. But yeah, this is going to be a pretty swift and clean round uh, in favor of Cat Evil. I think what's important to note, of course, is coming into this next one, Moon Esports are at least going to have a little bit of cash to play with. So hopefully they can kind of bring themselves back into it somewhat. Mm. Yeah, I mean, at the very least, the Stells picked up a double. And AK-47 still in play is, at the very least, a silver lining. But the hunt is the good idea. I mean, they can't allow an AK-47 to be saved across. They've got a long-term economy to work with. This time, the hunter down to one to go with, spam through the doors, a mutant with another AK being saved. The smart play there from Cat Evil, because they can't allow that sort of firepower to be brought in for the CT side. But that, of course, was an eco. So to find two kills, a silver lining in a bad situation. But, of course, it is a two-round lead now by Cat Evil before the full buy comes in. Yeah, this is exactly what Cat Evil needed. We spoke about how they kind of swapped the momentum back in their own favor, which is really, really important. And okay, we just keep going. Scouts off the board. All that's really left is a few pistols upgraded for Moon Esports. I mean, I was hoping they might be able to get a little bit more into this, but no, this is going to be another round going in favor of Cat Evil. And it's only going to be into the next round where Moon Esports might possibly be able to bring in a, a turnaround. Yeah, I mean, they could have gone for a buy. That's the thing. I mean, there's only kind of one player who was sitting on about 3.6-ish K. But I mean, they, they could have actually gone for a buy there. But they go for the kind of the slightly middling one once again. Not for a scout. A couple of upgraded pistols. This time, though, a full buy coming out. But, of course, it's a three-round lead. And, I mean, you look over towards the T side. Look at that long-term economy. I mean, twice a 12K. Dreamer, mm -hmm. Mute, 11K apiece. I mean, they're looking more than pretty over there. So there's absolutely kind of no pressure on their shoulders at all. Things looking very, very good with a three-round lead. I mean, to have this on round six... Mm -hmm. this much cash in the bank yeah i mean this is ridiculous the glass bottom does not exist for this team but interestingly let me take a look over on moon esports the double awp setup coming through again ton and kenoweth now uh, looking to bring things back in their favor they've given up mid completely i'll be curious to see how they set up a crossfire here yeah i mean set them out has been spotting towards big pit this does become slightly dicey that's not going to go for that double stack there are Cat Evil going to attempt the B split is the question for me. They're kind of toying with the idea, but they're not committing as of yet. Here comes the utility. Okay. He's in the charge. Bit of a spam going to come through, but no. Tempo slowed right down again, and it looks like they're going to default back over towards A. Again, when to see any sort of a cross. I mean, mid again is just completely... and they're Okay, they're pushed right off by one Molotov. Now they're heading back over towards B. This is, I think it's another example of Cat Evil overcomplicating things a little bit Yeah, We finally start to see the movement over, but as we've mentioned uh, a couple times, you know, the B site, a little bit more difficult to retake on. So we'll see if they For can sure. actually get themselves in there. With only two players on that site, it's more than doable, but they're going to have to force Tarn off of his position. They try peak. <sighs> oh no, <sighs> flash coming as well, and Tarn still just staying alive is all he needed. No trade, there it is. Kate out range or find one. Bomb to Bonta. Stella hasn't been cleared though. Hang on a second. Molotov in the hand. He doesn't even consider clearing the angle. September coming in for one of his own as well. Leaving Kate all alone out of one versus three. The all has to go huge. Spotting out information. Trying to tag through the wall. Won't quite find it. Bomb dropped in a lesser opportunity space. We've got to find anything Ooh. in the question. Trying to die before time and he will do exactly that. So at the very least, his economy isn't completely shattered. But I mean, the economy overall isn't going to be an issue. A much better round for Moon. But I think it's as you mentioned over complications by cat evil and seriously can we just talk about how they use every shred of util they have at the start of the round so when they eventually push in towards b all they have was like i think they had like two flashes and a molly something to that effect so no smokes or anything they dry peak the flash only comes out after the first player has died uh, and then Moon Esports rotate in and completely clean up. And now they've already started the round with, okay, they get the first kill, but it's immediately traded out. So there's still potential here. But Cat Evil had a really strange round in the previous one. Hopefully now we start to see some kind of adaptations uh, so that they don't make those same mistakes. That's the case. Swell Dreamer going to find September onto the site. Now Fu just going to fall back over towards CT. The smart play is the play, and now he has to 
I guess give up in towards a very tough retake. Not a bad opener though for Estelle. Can we get for one? Molotov, of course, will drop in towards that default position. Jin needs to be careful himself. He is sitting in a Molotov. Jin burning uh, down. You very go. aggressive from him as he just posts <laughs> up now over towards that of the aggressive short position. Looking to catch something in the boost oh, as well, no. Estelle. But I don't, we'll even clear the close position. They're even considering it. It's all about the timing. <gasps> one pop flash. He gets a freebie of a double here. And there it no. is. One, two. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't expect Jin to be so close and personal. Tan now left all alone. One versus three, and I think it's probably safe to say it's around one once again by Cat Evil. As yet, yeah, the save call to be made, and I think that's a smart one at that. The eight p such an expensive investment, a one of which they can't afford to risk. What a weird round again. I mean, okay, you gotta give props to Gin for being able to push into that smoke completely undetected and then get the 2k. And no one had even the slightest inkling because who does that? What player is actually going to attempt that? And I think that that's one of the things that makes this so good is playing these like really odd we talk about off angles. I mean, that, that just yeah. takes off angle to a whole nother level. Um, and this can really take the opponent off guard. And we'll likely not see that again for the entirety of this series. But it helps secure them a round that they kind of needed, particularly off the back of a round that was kind of odd for themselves. We also see them pick up the AWP off the ground. So Mutant's going to have that available to him as well. And Moon Esports, well, their economy, it, it goes up and it comes straight back down. Yeah, exactly that. Just the UMP for Brawls in Sports by someone greater pistols. Nothing really too much in the side of the CTs. And for Moon, I mean, this should be another round in favor of Cat Evil. Without Moon, going to be four rounds behind. It's a very uncomfortable position for them to be in as things aren't looking too good. Utility being used in towards mid. Okay, getting a little bit of that space. He might have spotted across as well. And he did 0-2 aware. 0-2 brilliant to find another kill towards Estelle. Swing his way in towards that mid control. Trying to catch it over. One in towards window. Does spot him out. Does he split the second on towards that elevated angle? Doesn't matter as in comes the support. UMP, good for one. Will he be able to find any more? No, Kate does his best job to drive that just that first. And that's all they're going to find. I mean, September's all alone. In a one versus four, and he is being held as well. The AK should be able to top this one up. Information gained, and yeah, that's the round done and dusted. Six to be collected by Cat Evil. And I, I don't know, Sam, this is um, a complete polar opposite performance from Moon than what we saw on their CT side on Inferno. Yeah, I mean, this has been very rough going. Okay, they've only had a couple of buy rounds into this, uh, but they find themselves getting caught out by creative plays let's call it that uh from cat evil very often that that's what it is you know cat evil do something completely unexpected and moon esports just aren't able to match up to that they're not able to connect in any meaningful way um you know they've only won the two rounds the first round was the pistol which is it tends to be quite coin flippy and the second round was off the back of a huge cat evil misplay and i gotta say you know they've done very little of their own merit so we we really do need to see them step up a bit here and i do like that this time around they're not completely giving up this mid control but some are getting forced away getting that opening kill however is huge i'm so glad they took mid presence like they haven't done that for almost this entire map and the first time that they do that to get themselves two opening kills. There's that one more as well. The Molotov's good. Now, Boo in a very tough spot as he's forced to kind of burn a, a smoke away, which could be very good and useful in the latter part. I mean, at the, the start, though, I mean, Moon are looking already a little bit better. Jin gonna find one. Gun barrel spot. Oh, they are shot here. Oh, what a shot from Jin, though. Ooh. Ton gets dome. The number four level. Smoking towards CT. Now they can cross over towards B. Only one player there to deny. And. Oh, for the two remainers on A, they've got a very tough rotate being made. And of course, the flank is being held. September has to come alive, has to be able to find a double, but he's not even able to find one. Round and dusted and another one with Cat Evil from a disadvantage, turn it in their favor. And a one versus three. And the long-term economy of Moon in the bin once further. It's safe call to be made by Kenner if he has to do it. Oh, this is devastating for Moon Esports. I mean, they start this round really well. They take a really proactive stance. They get aggressive. They get the first two kills, which is huge. And then they just kind of fall apart a little bit. I mean, this is a great stabilization from Cat Evil. And this is something that we'd said on the previous map as well, where they're able to just kind of pull back a little bit, restabilize and, um, you know, find a way in where they realistically shouldn't. But Moon Esports, uh, I'm really disappointed and devastated on their yeah. behalf i suppose you know it's a round they could really have come out on top of and I'm like, okay well extra frag we take those but yeah with a five round differential here moon at mm -hmm. least going to be able to buy in a little bit into this round force up get some of that util going 
and they have to start turning it around. They have to make something happen. And they do. realistically, I'm not sure what more. I mean, I wanted to see the proactive play. They they did that, and they start to get themselves a nice little footing, and, and they just lose it. It's all about that stabilization. The mm -hmm. thing that Cat Evil does so well that Moon Esports just can't seem to get right. Yeah, that question of kind of uh, too little, too late is starting to mm -hmm. early doors come into the conversation. And once again, not the greatest of start. They've gone for the full investment. And of course, it's the right thing to do. So the loss bonus in their favor. But as we stand, a seven to two, Amanda's advantage, Moon again. Potentially spread thin, full blind, the towel gonna fall. A nice idea to spray with the MP9 and that sort of range, but the execution not quite there. This is becoming a very dicey affair, as you mentioned, Sam, already, where, I don't know, for what Moon have been trying to do, their execution is just not quite working in their favor. They've tried going aggressive, and they've been called off guard. And even when they play passive, the utility has just been that step above, and Katik was showing why Dust2 is one of their preference picks, especially in this sort of matchup. Mm -hmm. I mean, as much as Inferno really went the distance, that was Moon Esports' map pick, and we kind of mm -hmm. expected them to possibly come out on top of it. Maybe not based off of the last uh, results they had against mm -hmm. this team, but just based off of, like, the usual laws of map picks. We thought, well, oh, you know, it's going so back and forth. Maybe yeah. Moon Esports come out on top of it. The fact that they did lose that map puts them in a very precarious spot here because they have to come up huge and... Okay, in a round we didn't think they'd be able to get too much done. They're actually managing to do a hell of a lot. They bring it down to the one versus one. And now Fu has to clutch this out. And all Newton has is the AWP. If he can get a shotgun shot off here, then he can clutch it out. But now Fu, I mean, it's more than possible that he can bring this back in his favor. Into us Ram. Orp trying to deliver as well in one versus one. And this sort of range through the thumbs up the advantage. Doesn't matter. No. Deagle comes out. Body spam and a headshot to finish it off. Now Fu falls. And already, with only 10 rounds play, Cat Evil have guaranteed themselves a lead at the half. An 8 2 scoreline. A six round gap ahead of their CT opponents. And of course, for Moon, another round which they should have won and failed to do so. If anyone heard the sounds of glass shattering, that was my heart. <laughs> it just broke. Oh, yeah. man. It was so close there. Just whips out the pistol and wins out against the Vermont. You hate to see it. What a solid attempt from Moon Esports. But unfortunately, trying isn't enough. You have to get results. And now we're starting another round where the results are not what Moon Esports want. No, open it. Molotov as well went towards this close car position. Leaves things very difficult. Doesn't matter though. At least a one for one. So why? Finds that first, but the quick trade comes through, but it's still a four versus two. They're trying to make their way forward. They're still trying to double back in towards CT, but anyway, he goes to be peppered by utility. And of course, the Deagle stepping up once again. Who needs an AWP when the hand cannons that step better? It's all down to one. That range taunt just gets absolutely decimated. 9-2, seven round lead, and Cat Evil. They are pulling away to a point where this is becoming problematic. We said the last time outing between these two was a 13-2 half, and it could be exactly the same once again. The really unfortunate thing is that it was a 13-2 half on Cat Evil CT side. Yeah. <laughs> we haven't even seen their CT side yet today, obviously, because they've been on the T side this whole mm -hmm. time. Um, so if that's what their CT side looked like before, and this is what their T side looks like now, my hopes for Moon Esports, I'll be honest, starting to dwindle a little bit. Of course, this round is one that we don't really expect Moon Esports to come out on top of. It would be nice. We could see some really nice little deagle shots here. That's, that's one for the books. Um, but is it going to be enough to bring the round back in their favor? Doubtful. I think once again, it kind of with the slight, well, I'm going to say side investment they got, they might want to even tempt the save, but now they don't even get the opportunity to use Cage found a 3k in towards mid. What a triple spray down, but it's an ace overall from him. He found the opening two, had a little bit of a breather, and then they won by one peaked into him. And if you give him those opportunities, Kate's going to delete. That's exactly the first mace to his name. 10 to 8 round lead. Sam, I just feel heartbroken for Moon Esports. I feel that. Heartbroken. I feel that so much. And like, so just, you know, you were highlighting Kate, and he was someone we'd spoken about at the beginning of the broadcast, mm -hmm. and he had a bit of a quieter one on, on Inferno. It was nice to see him really showing up here. Us too. Now I'm really for no. going for the aggressive play and the yeah. utility that we spoke about that was so important. The flashes coming out to deny the sight lines. It's perfect. Kate Evil. Kate Evil? Cat Evil pivot <laughs> off of that so well. The space denial, the sight denial. They push straight in into that lowest area. Absolutely decimate oh, no. the esports players. And the save is denied on top of that. 
I don't know if they come back from this. You know what? It's something you corrected yourself saying Kate Evil, but so far in map number one, it has been Kate Evil. <laughs> 20 and 5 really and ace in uh, Kateville. Yeah, it's been just brilliant absolutely stunning and of course i mean on an individual level but of course the team as well there's no kind of no real outliers of course yeah kate's really pulling away but the rest of the team aren't quite falling behind it's not a one-man show just as of yet and for moon i mean, no one really stepped up the plate to be honest the leader of that an alfie on six and sorry the greatest two spots into a short though and jin with the confidence Flooding through his veins. He wants to take this fight. Don't blame him at all. He goes to deliver oh, a double spray man. down. Jin opens up short. And of course, simultaneously opens up the A site. That's it. Another round in their favor. 12 to 2. A 10 lean to be found momentarily. And Kate, he just wants the fry because he wants his tally to get even further in his favor. The question is whether he can consider his the back site. Miss shots with a deagle. And I think that more or less sums up Moon Esports half as of yet. Heading in towards the final round with a 10 round lead. Cat Evil are absolutely decimating their opponents and for moon esports this is a shadow of their former selves what we saw in inferno that went to double ot yeah this is a really disappointing display i mean we we had spoken about how this is one of those maps that's very much stratted into the ground and it was it, it, it kind of feels like moon esports are a little lost on one of the most well-known well-understood maps in the map pool but this is the round they have to make something happen I was really hoping they could at least get one more round into the half, but it looks like Cat Evil just not gonna allow that. Yeah, bomb plants are going be off a range. Twio, too easy to find yet another kill to his tally. All fall in the trade at the very least. It's one in which they have to commit towards his mood. Trying to give this one a go. Numbers brought somewhat more level. A good flash as well, but Stalin is level four. Now fall alone, and the AWP delivers 13 to the half. Exactly the same as last time out. The question is, can Moon turn around the second half? We'll see you after the break.
And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. Second half, 13 2 for Cat Evil. Moon now on the T side. And they've struggled on the T side before. Sam, this could be done in a matter of pistol rounds for Cat Evil and a force fight to follow suit. At the very least, not a bad start. Estelle will find the first. Yep, not a bad start for Moon Esports, who have a mountain to climb if they want to be able to bring themselves back into this one. But somehow, Dreamer, okay, cool. Full blinded, gets one. Looking for more as well. Tapping from window. Not going to find anything as of late, or I speak too soon. Finds one more. September will fall. But that's where his story and towards Pistorano will be dropped. Back to a three versus three. Bombard's both on set of low HP as well. Try. Or going to be able to only find the information. Leave it by Estelle. Only good for one. Totally straight things out. Leaves Kate. What are they now? In one versus two to deny. Has been given up the sights. Damage Delta doors now, Foo. But already about to find the kill was a question mark. A kitchen on the inside of the door. Needs to be collected. Doesn't get oh. the right side. Ton. One man remaining alive is enough to find a third round. But a long road to recovery, it's safe to say, for Moon Esports. Yeah, I mean, that was one of those cases where there's just too many angles to cover and Kate was running out of time. So, yeah, fair enough. Now, of course, Moon Esports off the back of winning that pistol round. Looking to pivot that into more uh, as obviously they're going to be able to buy quite a bit into this one. It seems they have sacrificed a little bit of firepower just to ensure that they've got that little bit more of utility, which I definitely appreciate. I think that that could work out quite nicely, but that's assuming, of course, they're able to use it to proper efficiency as Kate Evil double scout set up. Oh, <laughs> not a oh, start no. either. Dreamer running and gunning. With the Deagle, we're gonna find a kill, and of course, I guess the more important thing is an AK-47 dropped over towards the hands of Twi with the full armor, exactly where they want to be. This is now starting to get a little bit problematic, Sam. Another force by working in their favor is not really how I expected this one to go. Flash will come forward. We'll actually catch off Jin. Not gonna give away the rules of where he's posted up as of yet, though. And the T side of Moon Esports looking like they're gonna commit back over towards that B site, which had success in the pistol round. But of course, it's only a scout there to meet them, which could be enough. Mutant just kind of jiggle peeking the angle, looking for information. The second he spots one, going to try and buy some time. But the scout has to rain some supreme shots, safe to say. Look for one, finds it. Brilliant as well. Tagged as well. Flash will catch him. Tactile asking. And they're only really going to be able to find one kill. Jin comes in for support with the eagle. Wary of a flank coming through from mid, but the site now opened up. One of which Gatsy will have to commit towards retaking. Of all the players to get down with a random deagle shot. It has to be the one with the AK. It gives them a yeah. nice little advantage into this one, but this is a tough site to try and retake. A Moon Esports have positioned themselves very, very well. As time ticks away, Cat Evil have to be very, very clever and decisive about this approach. And with no utility left to use, it's gonna be dry swings that Ooh, uh, go their way. <laughs> no way. <gasps> Oh, and they're going to be able to find the kill, what? but I don't think they're going to be able to get the bomb defuse. The kitchen's towards window. I don't think they have enough time. It's going to be oh so close. Going to pick it up. Going to test the waters, but I don't think he has it. It's going to be very close, but Moon Esports should be able to get a fourth. It's oh so close. He just about gets it. By about half a second, Kate with a clutch that could be enough to win out the round and win out the map and the series. 14 collected. Moon Esports on a full buy. Find four kills, a bomb plot, but that's just about it. And for Cat Evil, another round of which probably should have gone their way, but the gods are on their side. Come on, on top. I have a question if Moon Esports just hit a panic there, because I mean, yeah. they had a really good setup. And Cat Evil pushed dry with like no, no util, nothing. But they swing on one another really well, and somehow Moon Esports, their shots just don't hit they just don't connect and i think that they kind of panicked a little bit got into their own heads you know they realize oh you are on the brink of losing this entire map and we talk about uh, over complicating i think that was a situation of possibly just overthinking and cat evil take full advantage of that all their shots hit take control of the space and that puts them at 14 3 we're one round away from match point moon esports in a devastating position yeah, I mean, this is not exactly where they want to be. Of course, now when you look at the investment they've got to work with, for uh, the T side, it's just that one scout, upgrade of pistols, double the eagle, of course, two Glocks for, for now for in September. It isn't exactly where they want to be. And then you look over towards the CT side. Yeah, they got a double scout set up, but support to buy an AK-47, an M4, an S, and an MP9 could be enough to deny all this presence over towards long. And that's what we're seeing as of yet. I mean, 
The T Sound of Moon trying to make the way into us long. A lovely flash. Finds one. Make that two for Twy. Brilliant to open things up. They'll swap out the weapons. Scouter Rage trying to deliver on a little bit of a problem. But the AK 47 causing issues. Tapping away. And that's enough to find the kill. A full all this round. 15 to 3. And Sam, I think our story might be well, more or less done here. Yeah, I mean, you look at the cash that Moon Esports bring into this round and. Sure, they're going to be able to, I mean, they have to force, and they can at least force into some actual rifles, but look at their util. I've got nothing here. No, I mean, no, Cat Evil come into this with everything. Cat Evil are so confident, they're playing this round as a bonus. I love it. They I CBA it. to even buy in. Uh, they don't need to, because Kate and Twy are on a piece. Muta's trying to look for one more. Maybe slightly overextending there, because it does give that a bit of a upper tunnel's control, but the aid will come through after bomb dropped. Round, map, and game done. It's all down to one man. It's down to one versus three. The bomb nowhere to be seen for him. I'll take the long, treacherous journey all the way over just to collect it. And then there's the second thought of where does he go to plant? At the very least, an AK-47 to work with. And with Kate taking some damage on the scouts, and same can be said for Jin, is still a possibility. But I mean, it's not really the easiest the of tasks. Thought. Yeah, I mean, it's very unlikely. You know, one versus four, quite start before by the likes of Moon Esports. One versus three should be in theory slightly easier of the way to see this time though we're gonna be able to find the first gin will fall we're back to one versus two bombs need to be collected 55 seconds on the clock as well and estelle is going to take a step away he's saving he's playing <laughs> passive and I, I think for the likes of estelle he's potentially ever so cautious of a flank coming back to bite him but no not gonna be spotted out by too much he rotates back in towards mid double smoke to be dropped as well and hardly enough for him to pick up that bomb but i don't think he threw it deep enough his gun barrel might be spotted as he tries to collect it, which could become problematic. It will be collected, so I'm going to come forward. The case of who you're going to spot on top. It's no. going to be Dream, it's the fall. Estelle makes a one versus three to a one versus one. And now there's room to work with. He makes his way over towards the A side, and he's against just a scout. Hold the phone, folks. He also has a massive health advantage here. If he can just connect those shots, he doesn't have a lot of time to plant, so he has to do that. This could be the perfect vulnerable moment. But Kate's not going to swing. Kate's playing this passive as well. Looking to probably... No? Okay, I thought he was looking for a rifle, but I guess not. He pushes out in Estelle. The stay of execution is massive. I'll be honest, I counted him out. I counted yeah. him out way back. After they lost the first two players, I was like, all right, cool, GG's boys. But he manages to clutch that one out. And you know what? I'm really glad because I feel like the... <sighs> The BM of winning on a bonus. I don't, I don't know if Mooney Sports would have been able to live that one down. So, uh, thankfully, they give themselves another chance. They come into this. Okay, it's not a great buy by any measure, but at least they're still in the game. And they know that Cat Evil aren't going to have a perfect buy either. So, they need to try and leverage that now. I need to. The question is, can they? Well, as we stand, the, can we kind of question the... the the bonus buy, essentially. But thankfully for Cat Evil, if they forced into it, they would have been in a bit of a treacherous spot here. And at the very least, Moon have done themselves uh, justice in finding the fourth on the board. So it's not been uh, the worst performance from them on, on Dust 2. Can they do one better? Can they find five and beat their previous record? Have to wait and see. MP9 walking in. Gonna find two. Looking for three. USPS pulled out. And you're gonna find one more. And AK collected. And now this is not the way to end things. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, 16-4. A 2-0.